The Diary of a Certified Psychopath. Still the 24th of October, 2021. To the Niners. A real-life ramble on the fresh boots of my faithfully reinstated pride and joy, and a chance to float and gloat over every pothole, crack and crevice that caused me so much superfluous pain, or rather, ambient bodily harm. Throughout the season where roads steadily roughen, repairs lapse, and local councils ratify their ballooning budgets by implementing their traditional litany of closures, diversions, and enough temporary traffic lights to convince green that it is a primary colour, all configured in multi-way control systems so convoluted that they could qualify as the most mind-bending Mensa test ever devised. The forecast of a light soaking seemed a small price to pay for such sweet and long-due vengeance, and for once our redoubtable Met detectives, my own innately pessimistic senses, the blanket of grim grey cloud overhead, and Shoreham Airport's resident windsock were in full agreement. Wet rain would fall before darkness, and generally in a downward direction. With this being my first pre-sundown spin for what seemed like an age, I had the opportunity to observe that Mother Nature's subtle repainting and tasteful reappointing remain in steady and elegant progress. With Coombs Road's opulent corridors of rustling hedges and whispering tree-lined tunnels a few shades of rustier orange and golden brown than before. The same gusty southerly breeze that had plagued my nocturnal outing this morning proved of scant assistance, even when heading north but was sufficiently clement to justify my risky garment gamble of no gloves and two layers on top. The ominous veil of drizzle I sighted on the horizon when eastbound along Bramber's bypass reached me with malicious and persistent intent by the time I'd arrived at Homebush Lane, whose equally dense surrounding forestry initially kept me bone dry, though I was mindful to proceed with extreme caution in lieu of its numerous blind turns, errant gravel patches, and treacherously dilapidated terrain, which in the not-too-distant past has caused several of my staunch Strava acquaintances to come painfully unstuck. The radiant rose bushes adorning several of Falking's idyllic dwellings emitted stirring echoes of spring's floral flair throughout the dismal gloom, though as I tippy-tired downhill past the village's aesthetically rustic shepherd and dog inn, I was more focused on avoiding a group of pedestrians walking triple file with, coincidentally, three Great Danes in tow. Moments later, I encountered a chain of intrepid hikers bearing backpacks capacious enough to contain a whole winter's worth of Waitrose Dutchy organic tomato and thyme soup, all of whom more responsibly kept line astern and well to my right. The squally sheets had thickened to curtains as I furiously huffed my way from beading down the home stretch, though my magic carpet, sturdy frame and silky suspension helped suppress the cold sting and quell my temper, and as I approached my beloved abode, precipitation had relented enough to mentally cool off and take this arbitrary commemorative snap. A sizable portion over Strava's formerly mandatory outdoor daily distance quota thus putting the savings account back in healthy credit, and my obsessive subconscious a temporary peace. 25th of October, 2021. Supplies. Another after-hours amble, through the shades and shadows to collect thoughts, uncoil fibres, and restock a couple of bare cupboards. When Amazon offers deliveries by drone at 3am sharp, I may cease but then the roads themselves could well become lonely and depart for nocturnal company elsewhere, and to assume they'd return in time to serve dawn's earliest commuters would be far too grave a risk for humankind. Enough standing water to be flung up in all the least comfortable places, but no rain to exacerbate its damp chill. An encouragingly clear sky and a breeze of such unseasonable balminess as to render the night's serene and spacious liberties irresistible, if not for the sake of some poxy challenge, then for that of pure and simple pleasure. 26th of October, 2021. Reality check? Check again. 
Being a little stifled for nocturnal musings, I thought I'd begin this long-intended, all-encompassing, open-ended project to constructively and practically bridge the gaps between hard fact, half fiction, and pure fantasy. Its objective is to identify some local, loop-based courses that closely resemble some of those shorter available within Zwift's ever-expanding virtual domain. Since the platform's tireless team of talented artists will frequently christen their creations on a casual whim, a default naming scheme based around the following categories might help prevent confusion. Nought to 8 kilometers would be a circuit, 8 to 15 a loop or route, and 15 to 20 kilometers a course. Having reviewed Zwift's present selection, it appears that whatever title includes one of the above terms, the associated distance frequently falls within these ranges, though ultimately, how you name your masterpiece is entirely your creative privilege. In an ideal reality, your routes should be 1. No further than 10 miles or 16 kilometers from your own front, back or bike shed door. 2. Below 20 kilometers in length. This is a personal decision since, given the above guidelines and my locality, anything greater would be unrealistic. 3. Have a free-flowing continuity, principally by avoiding as many junctions and traffic lights as feasible. 4. Be proportionally as close as possible to their Zwift counterparts in terms of distance, elevation and topography. 5. Be safe. My ambitions literally ran a little high, though not quite far enough, with this inaugural attempt to replicate the oldest and most celebrated construct within the game's defining world of Watopia. Commencing and concluding at the bottom of Upper Kingston Lane, it extends to approximately half a kilometre less and incorporates roughly 40 more metres of climbing than Zwift's historic hilly route. Though the combination of Manor Road, East Hill Drive, Mill Lane and Four Down Road is a close topographical match for the former's forward polka.com, totalling almost exactly 1 kilometre and 45 metres. This proves that the concept has at least some mileage for those with perseverance and a modicum of innovative resourcefulness. Please share, enjoy, and stay motivated. <laughs>